Welcome back to LAX 18 News at noon. Just like many things you're seeing lately, the Storm Tracker Weather Center has gone mobile as well. It's actually my back office in my house, but it's serving up nicely. Uh, we ran it through the morning show this morning and the graphics are working and we've got a lot to talk about heading into the upcoming weekend. The good news, the Max Track Live Doppler, we did have a couple of showers and storms impact us earlier this morning. I put down some locally heavy rain, but at this point everything is quiet and what we're looking for is what's on the way. The potential for a couple of waves of showers and storms. This is the big picture. You can see over the next three days, we have got some ups and we've got some downs as far as temperatures and shower and storm chances. And the first wave could very well come in later on this evening. It's a very limited possibility and then a more robust shot coming in Saturday night. We're already in the low to mid 70s. It's noon, it is incredibly warm. Uh, and we'll likely top out mid 70s here in the bluegrass, possibly some upper 70s south. We have a stalled out frontal boundary that was the focus for severe storms overnight across parts of Illinois. And that was that diminishing round that clipped our mainly northern counties and bluegrass counties this morning. But by later on tonight, we'll have a warm front lifting north. So we do have a marginal risk from the Storm Prediction Center for severe storms, that slight risk over Missouri and Illinois. And then tomorrow, look at it expand. This is where things get a little more interesting and not in a good way. An enhanced to moderate risk for severe storms across northern Illinois, central Illinois. That is long track tornadoes, discrete supercells, damaging wind hail. For us, it's more of a straight line wind and possibly hail uh, concern tomorrow night. So here's how it plays out. The future track, the warm front lifting north later on tonight. Along that boundary, notice that batch of showers and thunder showers over southern Indiana diving south at the head of that boundary. That's where we may see a few strong to severe storms this evening, late this afternoon into this evening. Fairly quiet as the front lifts out of here and then watch back to the west. You'll notice where the occluded front, that purple front, the warm front and the cold front meet that triple point right up over uh, parts of Illinois. That'll be the main focus for the potential for severe weather for them. But watch what the cold, the cold front's doing. As it approaches, we will have a round of strong to severe storms coming in tomorrow night. So by Saturday evening, late Saturday evening, possibly in early Sunday morning, things could get hopping around here. For today, Partly sunny, balmy, windy, spotty storms, mainly north of I-64 later on this evening. Uh, we'll keep an eye on those tonight. And a few of those may be on the strong to severe side, so remember that. Overnight, things do calm down as the warm front lifts out of here. We do not cool down. We're in the low 60s. And then tomorrow, much of your Saturday gusty and quiet, but Saturday night, We'll have another round of strong to potentially severe storms. This one more widespread, better coverage. And as well, we may pop near record highs around 80 degrees. Lexington's record high is 83. And then the backlash comes. Sunday, a beautiful day. Sun is out. And we are mostly sunny and cool. Uh, but there you can see later in the week, next week, temperatures take a nosedive. So we've got a spring chill setting in out there toward the, the middle of next week. Tom, thank you.